I don't know what I have. I've, well, I have a leopard. What have you got? A Dacre kill? And who are you? Awesome. I'm so excited. I need you. Please, can you tell Tristan, because there's so much chat on the radio, that I have got a leopard. Can he call it into me? Uh, or in for me on central mobile towards Drakensberg uh, Junction. That'd be great, Alice, just because I'm going to try and stay on this. I'm going to go and guess, who should we guess? Tandy. <laughs> it's obviously difficult to tell from the rear end like this, but I suspect that it is Tandy. I'm just trying to think. It looks like a female and not. A, it didn't look like a particularly young female either. It looks a little bit on the sort of tatty side. Let's have a look here. Again, or are you Shongile? Who could you be? I mean, Tandy's not the biggest leopard either, but if you do know and you can tell which leopard this is from the backside, please do let us know. Hashtag Safari Live. We will always, of course, appreciate your help. Well, I know that I certainly do. But how great is this? I said to you that I'm refusing to track leopards from now on, and it worked. I was looking for a lion, and then look what popped up. I literally was, I was stressing. I thought if this lion is on a territorial patrol, which I'm sure is exactly what's happening, as Tristan said, he's going to be moving moving quite hectically now ideally I want to try and get in front of this leopard but I also want to see where this leopard is going so we'll just drive slowly I don't want to put too much pressure oh well, there we go you might see Tristan apparently how cool is this so it's a half eaten Dacre kill I think it could be Tundi because I remember seeing the uh, seeing leopard tracks on the Nyala Road north or south no in Yala road yeah in Yala road south and they said that they saw drag marks from a leopard but that was also a couple of days ago two days ago and for a leopard uh, a dacre is not a particularly big meal we'll just keep going i don't want to encourage this leopard's direction if it's going to turn off the road if it wants to walk down the center that's perfect we were going to try and stay with it for as long as we can how amazing it's a tough one I know half of you are, it's, it's a toss-up at the moment between Tandy and Shongile I, th I just I feel like it's it's hard to tell isn't it from the back uh, we keep getting little glimpses let me get up here and we'll stop again how great is this so Tristan's very kindly He's very kindly handling the radio for me, which is fantastic because it is going wild and I'm going to turn it off because otherwise I can't concentrate. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> That's a lovely picture, don't you think? Tail up in the air. Oh, what a beautiful scene. Golden light. Come on, turn to us so we can try and figure out who you are. I can't do my normal maneuver where I zoom on through the bushes and get in front because... Oh, the impala are alarming now up in front, but I don't think she's gonna mind too much. It's um it's just too thick for me to actually make it on a duck cell. I don't want to startle this cat. So we shall just stay at the back until I can see a nice clear gap. The impala have spotted her and they're snorting now, but she's got a meal in her mouth. So I think she should not worry about the impala too much. <laughs> right here. Let me try and get a better shot for all of you. Oh they're running. They're not hanging about. I thought the Impala were at least going to stand here and sort of alarm, but that's not the case. They've dashed off. She's just keeping an eye out on them. We will just try and keep moving as slowly as we can. Yee! So James Richard, you also think that it could be Tandy. I think so. I just don't think that this looks like a particularly young cat, but I stand in a correction. I mean, for me to make an assumption like this, look at the Impala. Can I just show you how the Impala are panicking? I'm gonna just go up a little bit forward. It's quite funny. Like, oh, look at them. They're running forward now. Sorry, it's a tight view. And they're actually coming closer again. See that? Watching, snorting, ears pricked. Very typical for Impala to do something like that, to move closer towards a predator. Right, we're gonna have an opportunity actually to catch her and get in front because we're coming, we're not actually too far from the boundary. We've got a couple of hundred meters to go, but we know how quickly the cats can cover the ground. And I'm gonna sneak, I'm gonna sneak around her in a second. We'll get a chance and then we'll be able to tell for certain who exactly we've got here. 
<laughs> Don't worry, Impala, you're safe this time. For now. That's not to say nothing's going to change this afternoon. Okay, girly girl, which way are you going to go? I'm going to sneak past her. Yeah. Okay, everyone, watch the brown. Oh, it's so tight. It's shh. Oh, I don't know now. I saw very golden eyes there for a second, and I know Tandy's got sort of bluer eyes. I want to go through. Okay, let me go again. But I'm going to drive through the bushes, and people are going to get hooked on thorns. Not that I really mind it. We really doing a really wide berth here. Hold on, just need to do a quick zip. So, Seb, we're gonna do classic Taylor. I think it's Shongololo, it's Shongile. I'm gonna try and, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna reverse now. We're gonna do classic Taylor. We're gonna reverse for the rest of the drive. But I think this looks like Shongile. It's okay, girl, come on. I'm gonna move back for you. Now oh, she's going off the road. See that? Very golden eyes. Actually, not as sort of tatty ears as it would look like from the back. I'm gonna go and say that this is Shongile. But again, on the move, it's so difficult. We're gonna have to stay on the move with her. And it doesn't look like a big daker either. I think she actually caught a, a youngster. And there are a couple of young daper daker around at the moment. I don't know who she's taking it to. Um, is everybody confirming? Yeah. So, Jason, you're wondering why it can't be Shadow? Just because uh, Shadow is normally, a, she's a little bit bigger. Oh, you, who are you? No, you could be Tandy. You could, hey? I don't know, and the light, her eyes looked so, she's a little bit nervous there. Um, she, her eyes looked so golden, and then now when she came closer, they actually had a bluish tinge to them. I'm confused now. Well, okay, I'm gonna go and change it. It's Tandy. Yeah. I wonder if this isn't Tandy. The reason why is because she's going towards Torchwood, and we know that there was a young male sighted on Torchwood. And that's the exact direction that she's going. And she is, and she would still be taking food back for Tamba. Shongile, she'd probably stay put with her meal because you can see it's not like it's a brand new kill. Uh, it's not like she's trying to find a tree to hoist it in. It's the fact that she's eaten some of it and now she's going to move on. And obviously she couldn't take it back to Tamba. This is what I imagine. Maybe she killed it last night. Yeah, I'm going to stick with, I think I'm going to take, I'm sorry for saying Shongile, just this entire behavior of carrying a half-eaten kill in the direction where we know there's a young sub-adult leopard, or a, you know, a juvenile, I think it is Tandy. That light was very deceiving for a moment, we haven't, you know, it's just quick glimpses of her. Both of them are small leopards, I still think that Shadow is a bit bigger than the two of them. Uh, her nose is also slightly sort of speckled, but... Shadow, yeah, no, I don't think it's Shadow. And Shadow, we know, had a, had a limp too. And this leopard is walking perfectly. And I think Shadow hurt herself quite badly. She seems to be getting better from what we're hearing from the other guide. She's putting weight on her foot now, so that's good. Obviously, we would prefer to see it for ourselves, but I know she's been hanging around in Hoffman's, if I'm not mistaken. We're quite a distance away. We'll see, if this leopard crosses in, it's totally tandy. There'd be no reason for Shongile to be carrying a kill and walking in the direction of a, another another leopard. Even with Hosanna, she wouldn't be, she doesn't, I don't think she would even know to do something like that. She doesn't quite have that maternal instinct just yet. She's very young. Yeah, bo. Thank you, James. He said it's 100% Tandy. I, oh, she's very nervous today. It's okay, girl. She should just jump back. I didn't even drive over a stick or leaf or anything. Perhaps she also heard that lion. Maybe that lion startled her. Maybe she she bumped into it and she thought, oh my goodness, I better get out of here. So instead of going back and fetching Tumbo and bringing him this way, she maybe just thought to herself, I'm actually just going to take what's left back. It's easy for me to carry. Very cool though, nonetheless. Mm, again, we're going to have to stick behind her. We're not going to be able to pass her at the moment, but we'll keep going. 
up ahead. It's going straight towards Cheetah Cut Line now. And it won't be too long. It's got a little bit of a way to go, so we still might have a chance. This is so cool. I'm trying to think. I have to do some serious bundu bashing if I wanted to get around her. Just sort of seeing. Mm. Yeah. I don't think I'll be able to get through this thicket live. It'll be too messy, even for me. We'll just have to stay like this, I'm afraid. Sorry, we're gonna have to keep on the move because that's what she's doing. And I don't think she's going to stop either. Maybe what we can do, okay, thank you, Alice. That'd be very kind because then I can try get around her. Okay, we're gonna quickly try and zip around her and get in front. We're gonna send you across to Tristan while we do so.